As part of our Simon Says Stamp adhesives, we now have a craft glue stick. This has so many uses in your card making. I'll be showing you a few ways to use it, along with the technique using foils. Let's take a look at the glue stick itself. It is a 21 gram container with a really tight fitting lid, so the glue won't dry out. To remove the lid, you want to pull it straight out from the container. The bottom portion is where you turn it to advance the glue from within the container. Be sure not to advance it too much so that you can keep your projects clean and tidy. The glue stick's perfect for adding panels to your note cards. You can just flip this over. And I like to use a paper towel under my panel to protect my work surface. And then draw around the edges of the panel and also in the center with this super smooth glue. Then you can flip this over and put it onto your note card. The glue stick has a moderate drying time so that you can adjust your work until it dries completely. You can press around the card to make sure that you have really good contact and it will dry nice and flat with a thin profile. Our glue stick is also great for adhering your fine detailed dies to stack them up to create some dimension. Again, using a paper towel underneath, now you'll want to tap onto the die to apply the glue to all the areas. And then you can add your second die on top, and with that moderate drying time, you have a few minutes to adjust as needed. You can also use it on the back of your dies to apply to a background shadow, in this case vellum. And because there is little water in the glue stick, you can also use it on the back of your vellum to attach that to your card. The glue stick's also great for doing collage work where you have thin papers that you want to glue down. In this case, I have some book text and I can run that right over the back and apply the glue only to the paper. And then I can place it onto my project. This works particularly well on backgrounds that have been inked with water reactive inks because none of the glue will seep out from behind your piece. Another great reason to use a glue stick rather than a dot runner is if you have really skinny sentiment strips. You can just run your glue over the back side and make sure that you get all those edges. And then you can place it onto your project and you still have time to move that around to make sure you have it straight. And finally, you can add foiling to your projects by using your glue stick. And I have two types of foil here. One is a toner foil and the other is for using with hot foil plates. So I'm just drawing onto the bottom edges of my card front and I'm gonna place the hot foil on top of the wet glue stick. I wanna make sure I have this straightened out. I can readjust and pull that tight. Then I can run over and burnish it just with my finger and I can start to see where it's already picking up some of the foil in some of those areas. I don't need to let the glue stick dry completely before pulling this up to reveal the foiled area of my card. With toner type foil, you may wanna use your bone folder to burnish the foil right into the glue. And when you're done, you'll get some of the same effects. And when you're done, you want to replace the cap and push that down until the bottom of the cap matches that teal line. I hope you've enjoyed these tips and tricks on how to use our craft glue stick for your cards and projects. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.